Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss the scenario what we are going to implement for this approval process. Okay. So as of now, we have learned what is approval process and also we have learned what is approval process in the context of Salesforce also. Right. So those things are clear now for us. Okay. It is time to implement whatever we have learned. Right. So before implementing the concept, let us first have a strong use case. Okay, so we have to understand the business requirement before implementing the approval process. Okay, as a Salesforce admin, we should have to understand the business requirement before implementing the approval process. Okay, so this video is all about scenario discussion. We are going to understand the business requirement. Okay, so let us quickly jump to the slides and see this. Uh, what is the scenario all about? Okay, so I hope you all have completed the sales cloud topic, right? So in the sales cloud topic, we have learned the sales cloud topic with the help of an example, which is nothing but this QRT Silkian exporters, right? So this QRT Silkian exporters was the example we have used for the sales cloud topic. Let us take the same example here, here also. Okay, so QRT Silkian exporters is actually a Silkian manufacturers. Okay, so they manufacture silk yarns and their customers are nothing but the persons who just get the silk yarn as a raw material for their company and they manufacture beautiful silk products. Okay, so this is a short description about QRT silk yarn exporters. Okay, so QRT silk yarn exporters is actually having a great strategy and they have got a great plan for their company's growth. Okay, so they actually use many marketing strategies. Okay, so to improve their brand and to the, grow their brand also. Okay, so one of the technique what they have used recently is they used to create beautiful campaigns all over the India. Okay, and they used to collect the leads from the uh, campaign booths. Okay, so one such uh, trade show was from the Jamshedpur. Okay, so QRT Silkian exporters had a, a large trade show at Jamshedpur recently, okay, to grow their brand, okay. So, it was actually a super successful uh, trade show and they have acquired a lot of leads from this particular trade show, okay. So, most of the leads were actually genuinely interested in their products and they have actually converted those leads also, okay. So, from one of that particular converted lead, there was a very high value opportunity, Okay, so this high value opportunity is actually in the hands of the sales rep Preeti. She is the uh, record owner for this particular opportunity. Let's have like that. Okay, now she is actually very happy because she actually got this very high value opportunity and she wants to convert this particular opportunity to a closed one. Okay, so only when she closed uh, one, when the stages, stage of this opportunity becomes closed to one, the expected revenue is going to be the higher, right? So what she is trying to do is she actually converse with this particular uh, client and she is actually, the client and the uh, sales rep is actually compromised with the deal also. Okay, so now she cannot close the particular deal without getting an approval from her senior management. Because it is a high value opportunity, she has to get an approval from her senior management. Okay, so her senior manager is nothing but Steve. Okay, Steve is the manager for her. Okay, so if, if she has to close this particular opportunity, she has to get an approval from her manager. Okay, so only then she'll be able to close this opportunity. Okay, so this is the requirement what we are going to work in the next video. Okay, so this is the requirement only if you understand this scenario, we will be able to implement approval process easily in the next videos. Okay, so there is a uh, trade show happened at Jamshedpur for, by the Kuwaiti Silkian exporters and they have acquired a very high value opportunity from that particular trade show and uh, Preeti is actually the sales rep and she wants to close this opportunity to close to one, but she cannot do that without the help of her manager's approval. Okay, so this is a simple scenario we have taken and we are going to work on this. Okay, so let us now from this scenario, I hope you should have understood that the object involved is actually opportunity, right? The standard object we are going to use. Okay, and the criteria is going to be say, for example, greater than 1 lakh. Okay, let us have a simple criteria greater than 1 lakh. Okay, and the immediate approver for Preeti is actually the manager who is nothing but the Steve. Okay, so these three things you should have come to a conclusion or you should have understood from this particular scenario what we have discussed now. Okay, so this is a scenario and we have seen what are all the requirements from this particular scenario, right? So 
this is the scenario we're going to work and in the next video we are going to set up the org okay so before implementing the approval process we have to make some kind of setup in our org to work with the approval process okay so the next video we are going to work with the setting up the org now okay so let us meet in the next video thank you if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing at salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh trained and placed from our side you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you